one's gonna be a pretty spooky one, so it's gonna probably give me nightmares. Welcome to Pokemon Theory. Barely alive. Okay, let's get right into it. Technically, this is one of a this one is a creepy pasta, but seems to turn more into a conspiracy now. So eh, why not? My I I was planning to do this white-handed as well anyway. Might as well do both. And Lavender Town Synchro done when I'm done. The theory buried alive model. And Alge an alleged burn frame from Berry Man's grip. The Berry Alive model is often a reference called code the Berry Man's the Berry Man's grip was found on the final story of Pokemon Tower and with in wit what has now been replaced with the Marowak ghost. According to script assignments it Barely a, Barry Alive was supposed to be the boss of the tower. Once reaching the top floor, following the following conversation you would have to take place in. Barry Alive, you here. I'm trapped and lonely. So very lonely. Won't you join me? After this, a battle will be in, started. Once the battle view, the very live model appears to be a decaying human corpse attempting to crawl out of the ground. It has been programmed to have two white hands, a Gengar, and a muck. Strangely enough, the protocol for the very alive actions was defeated is was defeated when not written. In the case of playing the player the finger, the game would freeze. However, a specific ending was written by an unknown programmer upon losing the battle. In this ending, Barry Alive was start had to have started finally fresh mate, followed by several lines of gibberish. He he was to then drag the player into the ground. So. Surrounding him, the scene would finish with a typical game over screen. However, the background of the image of Buried Alive character is char devouring the player was had was to have been shown. Oh, sick. Especially strange. Especially strange and pro of the scene. The cartridge was to download this image to a small internal memory contained into the Game Boy, overriding the title screen that normally accompanied the Game Boy turning on. Instead, whenever it was started, the player would view this image in a sound of st static wave was played. This intended purpose for effect like many other factors leading towards the lavender dancing Perdome is unknown, in my opinion. Okay, so there's reasons why this can't be true. One, Pokemon was originally meant to be a kid's game. Yes, there are some dark things in it, such as the ghost girl. But why would they go far enough to create a terrifying image when the player gets eaten? Kids would have nightmares, too. Most of, most of the videos which suppose Barry Alive glitch are in perfect English. The game glitch was supposed to only have Japanese and the Japanese version, but why would it be in English? Three, apparently people have looked into this and have not, and I, I have not, so I'm going to, going on to what they say. They say you can't find the sprite of the source code. Oh, so one should be able to find the help of a game shark. But neither one of those codes contain, neither one of them contain a sprite. So, so the glitch 
of course, is not real. So I thought, hey, personally, I think it's fun to play a hack game containing the glitch, even if it isn't a legit thing. <laughs> well, that's the end of this theory. That's probably going to give me a nightmare tonight. Goodbye.